One other question. This is becoming a bit of a therapy session for brokers, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, we, uh, one of the questions that I've got, um, which I know you've got a, an opinion on, um, but I'd like <laughs> Got to, an opinion on everything, Sam. Yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. That's why we like you. Um, admin fees to yes. be paid to, um, to brokers. Yes. Um, what what's your opinion on that? Should should a borrower pay an admin fee? Um, so broker fees. Broker okay. Fee. So I mean, just for context for, for, for your viewers and listeners, even if you get charged a broker fee or you don't, lenders will always pay a procuration fee on the back end anyway. So brokers get paid regardless. But I think the broker fee, I charge a broker fee. Um, I charge a broker fee. Good. And there's some brokers who don't, which is absolutely fine. However, I would potentially argue that potentially. They are then either churning business because they they were in three months to get paid, you know, if that. Um, they potentially might be more inclined to give you deals where they get a higher procuration fee because they want more money. Um, and thirdly, you know, you want to you as a broker, you want to value your time and, and your effort. Otherwise, you might get more people coming to you just to check. You know, you're putting all the effort and the work in, not get, taking any money up front. And they just down valuation, change their mind. They've not disclosed, the client's not disclosed something, which they should have. Deal doesn't go ahead. You've done three, four weeks worth of work for nothing. So, yeah, I think broker fees have their place. What I don't agree with sometimes is, so what I don't do, I'll talk about myself rather than other brokers. So what I don't do is I don't change my fees depending on the size of the loan. So whether if someone's borrowing 50 grand or, well, if they're borrowing 5 million, I won't charge you a fee, just to be clear. But if they're borrowing 50 grand or 500K, the fees are the same because the work is pretty much the same. And what I also don't personally do is percentage-based fees. Because for me, again, it's not a scalable thing. The, the fee is a fixed fee, not relating to a percentage. So you, you, you do, yeah, I mean, I, I'm totally on board with you. I think, I think the main thing for me is that the way that uh, a broker and uh, gets paid is effectively upon completion. Mm -hmm. That's the way the majority of the yeah. cash comes in anyway. Mm -hmm. So if you're waiting three, four, five, six months in some cases, um, especially back in the you know, COVID days, um, that's a long time to wait, and a lot of things can happen in that. They're trying to run a business, you know. So like your, your you pipeline need some, needs yeah, to be yeah, exactly. And and if you uh, if it's for some reason the borrower decides that I I just you know I don't want to buy this property anymore or the seller pulls out or something, unfortunately you've done all that work, and if you've committed to let's say ten of these people, yeah. and that's taken up your whole month, and that happens ten times, probably doesn't happen that way. But yeah. imagine if it averages out over, you end up working and paddling very hard for very yeah, little. I so, agree. So I think it's a small commitment for, um, and what you can provide on, I think what brokers can provide by charging that fee is, is a little bit better service yeah. because then you're less like heart palpitation. Is this deal going to happen or not? Should I just get one more client just to be able to put them in the pipeline <laughs> yeah. so they work on the conversion rates? I mean, I've, I'll give you an example. I've had a, I had a WhatsApp earlier. So, cause some people, are, some investors are very short sighted. Um, so I had a WhatsApp message at 7 a.m. Hey, Shaz, heard, about you, heard lots about you. I've got this massive portfolio. I've got two refinances. Uh, what are your fees and when can we have a chat? Oh, no, can I give you a call in 15 minutes? This is 7 o'clock in the morning, by the way. So I said, look, I, obviously in terms of phone calls, I'd love to pre-book a call. We'll sort that out. These are my fees. And then he replies, um, okay, yeah, sure. Happy to book a call in. Let me know when you're free. Uh, in terms of fees, can you do it for free, please? Because there's lots of business on the table here. And I said, no, I don't work with free, thanks. Now, the point, the point I'm trying to make is I could do it for free, but if you went to a fee-free broker, there's loads out there, so Habito, Trussell, those kind of online fee-free brokers, lnc.co.uk as well, <laughs> worth every penny. Um, <laughs> like, are they going to reply to your WhatsApp message at half seven in the morning? Definitely not. Do you know what I mean? There's things like that, and people sometimes have their blinkers on, trying to save a bit of money. And I had another WhatsApp exchange, this, this rarely happens, this thing about fees now, because I've got a bit of a reputation, touch wood. But yesterday, this guy, Bobby, and not, Bobby's a very random, anonymous name, Bobby. <laughs> All right. Hey, Shaz, long time no speak. Yes, Bobby, how's it going? Great. Okay, cool. I've got some refinances coming up. What are your fees? And you know what? When the first question is fees, you know where it's going. <laughs> yeah. What are your fees? Yes, Bobby, my, first, my fee is £600 for your first deal, £400 thereafter. That's my fees, right? He goes, great. That sounds good. Any discount for the first one? And I said, no, there's a discount for loyalty. <laughs> and, yeah. it, and he did like a laughing reaction on it. So uh, goodbye, Bobby. 
<laughs> see, <laughs> see you, Bobby. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I just think that um, you get what you pay for. And if you get a good service, you get quality. Um, I think, and, and we're talking not hundreds of pounds here, you know, yeah. in the grand scheme of things, these, these, um, these investors are making, you know, hopefully, you know, five, six figure sums. Yeah. And so a small token just to put some money in the till. Incentivizes you and also it makes you accountable because once you've paid me the fee, if suddenly I become slack or non-responsive or ghost you, it's like, Shaz, I've paid you a fee, you know, yeah, you've agreed to exactly. work for me. It's, it's that, it's a position. I think it's totally a game changer. Yeah. For me, I feel totally obliged to make sure that people get it. Have, you ever, have you ever done no fees as a, as a model in general? Well, I wouldn't charge a fee, but if it was an extremely large deal, I probably wouldn't charge a fee. But generally, I've never done no fees. No, I have a very strict rule. I think if they can't invest in me, then why should I invest in Absolutely. Them? I just don't. Regular like, clients? Pardon? Regular, business, regular clients, would you do anything for them? Um... I've I've given discounts to regular clients for loyalty. Again, mm. that's that's a nice thing to do. I've not charged them like to start the work because usually I've got that rule as yeah. well. As that. I'm yeah, just, yeah. Like I've done all this work; it's all on a plate for you. Yeah. Right. We need to go to the application because <laughs> I charge upon application. Yeah. Um. But I'm I normally just like right. I'm just gonna wait for you to, to to show commitment and you're ready to go and then we'll do it. But for regular clients, I'll just like let's just roll on. Let's yeah. get, get this I'll freestyle. Done. Regular clients kind of just freestyle. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because yeah. you've got that trust. And okay, exactly. Essentially, you you are the finance department of their property business, and that's how it should be. But I think I think generally, like ah, oh, I've got this fantastic client. I really one of my favorites. Um, they've just done this whole development, and uh, and it's a wicked, really designer, a part hotel scheme. Nice. And they're like, you come and stay with us for free and stuff. And I'm like, no. Yeah. I want to I, like. I don't mind if you give me a discount or something, but real friends pay. Business, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like, come on, let me, let me. You, you work your ass off to get <laughs> yeah. this thing sorted. Let me come and put some cash in the till. Let's yeah. get it going. Let's get it. Real friends pay, and also they document it on social media. They tell everyone else yeah, about it. Do exactly. you know what I mean? There's, so, a, there's a lack of that. And I think that that's really important uh, when it comes to business relationship. And I and and it's almost using it as a as a filter to determine the ones that are going to be the, the 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 people that really like. The prima donnas and the ones that's going to break your head, mm. uh, and the ones even that pay sometimes break your head anyway. <laughs> yeah. So it may as well get some money in the till. But the yeah. ones that don't, um, they're just looking for a free ride. And the chances are, we always say that we're very relationship driven. Mm -hmm. Chances are, there's no relationship, there's no connection, and they'll jump from one broker to the next, and they'll be shopping around yeah. left, right, and center. It's just like now with the gas of shopping around. So again, a lot of this rarely happens now, which I'm grateful for because it's less fluff if in my inbox. But anytime someone even mentions or let slip that they've got other brokers working on the same deal. I'm always like, okay, cool. I'll take a step back. There's no point yeah, yeah, yeah. having two brokers on board. What's your? Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. I think if 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 somebody else has gone to if if they're unhappy with their broker, then it's different. Yeah, or yeah. if they. Okay, what if it's a case of, hey Sam, um, my other broker Shaz has given me this deal. Do you mind having a look at it and see if you can beat the deal or beat the rate? If I know the other broker, <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll usually step away because okay. it's like. What's the point? Yeah, it's like, I don't want. I'm not here to sh shark other people's, you know, business. Um, but if I don't know them, they say, Sam, I've been to. I, I've got the. I'll say, send me the terms that you've got, and I'll try yeah. and match or beat them. Beat them. But I, I need full transparency on what you've got. 